What's going on? Little Dap, it's Jared Montz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. You are watching interview highlights of World Cup star Alex Morgan on my Jared Montz Soccer Podcast. To watch the full interview, visit OnlineSoccerAcademy.com or go to iTunes and search Jared Montz Soccer Podcast. Enjoy. First off, congratulations on all the success you're having. How cool is it to be Alex Morgan right now? Great, great. You should be. Well, as you started scoring goals in the World Cup, you personally started blowing up like a viral video on YouTube. Your Facebook fan page and Twitter was gaining thousands and thousands of followers and fans a day. It seemed like what was what was that like? I mean, a, a lot of people had um, expectations uh, for the team and for me, and you know, I. I didn't come through until the very end with scoring those two goals in the semis and the finals. So I was waiting for my turn. And, you know, once it came, I saw the support that I had had all along. And I, I saw the, um, you know, the aim and support as well. But um, that was pretty funny coming back from the semis and the finals to see I had gained, you know, 50,000 followers and whatever, an hour. Um, <laughs> that was pretty crazy, I'd say. Uh, but, I mean, We're, it all been such an interesting journey, and, uh, you know, I, I don't remember that anything, and I'm so glad that I have my fans to interact with now, and, um, you know, a lot of people following uh, what I tweet and what I write on Facebook. Our next question comes from YouTuber Rockstar Dove 5 um, These are usernames, by the way. Um, and he's, he asks, how much time should be spent doing weights or running versus skill-based practice with the ball? So, that's a good question. Um, my schedule, I mean, it depends whether I'm in season, off season, but I'll just say, you know, um, preparing for the World Cup, we um, say we would play one game a week, then we would be lifting twice a week for an hour each, and uh, Every every day we would be doing soccer skills, so that would consist of probably anywhere between one to two hours a day, and then on top of that, probably about 30 minutes of fitness, and then an hour of weightlifting twice a week. So it's hard to say daily what you're going to do, but um, I'd say you would spend in total about two and a half hours every, two and a half to three hours every day, whether it's Skills and fitness, or skills and weightlifting, or all three combined. The last user submitted a question on behalf of all my online soccer com players and just youth players in general. What advice do you have for for young players that are trying to live the dream of playing pro soccer? Uh, you know, growing up, I always make sure I had fun every day doing this, and. Um, I mean, you have you want to have that fine balance between pushing yourself and knowing your priorities, but having fun at the same time. And uh, I think that you know it's important to live your life to the fullest without making soccer your life. You need to have you need to have a well balanced life. And so you know, I say that you definitely need to you know work hard for your goals. They're not just going to be given to you, but you need to enjoy the experience and enjoy the journey. That's the most important part. Great answer. Has there been an increase in attendance at Flash Games since the World Cup, and <clears throat> are you spotted around town a lot more? There has been a huge increase in um, fan support uh, in our stadium in Rochester. I mean, two days after the World Cup, um, we had a home game, and we had a record-breaking 15,000 oh. fans at our game. And since then, we've um, consistently brought in high numbers, like uh, 10,000, 8,000, 6,000. Um, so it's definitely a big jump from the beginning of the season, where we were, where we were only bringing in a couple thousand. And then 
definitely hoping to see double digits uh, for the final. Congrats. That's so awesome to hear. Great news.